Hello and welcome back to the channel, where I share the latest insights about the contemporary art scene in Seoul. In this second walking tour, we will visit three galleries in the Jongno district, where exhibitions of both local and international artists are taking place. So today we are starting our tour at Gukche Gallery. Um, this gallery has played a key role in promoting both leading international artists in Korea, as well as promoting, of course, local artists abroad. This time, the exhibition of the artist Ugo Rondinoni is open, which in fact has attracted a very large number of visits uh, from the local public. This exhibition titled Nuns and Monks by the Sea takes place both in Seoul Gallery and also in the Busan space. The immense sculptures that occupy the K3 um, gallery space, as always in Ugo's work, um, you can see this precision in location. Everything is uh, perfectly located for enhancing the experience of the visitor. So more than seeing these sculptures as static blocks, you can feel at the same time this kind of movement and mystery. So we continue the tour in the gallery that's just right next door. Hakkoje is presenting Ambition in Arcadia, Korean painter in New York by the artist Po Kim. Po Kim, um, whose Korean name was Ki Po Hyung, traveled to the US in 1955 and he was among the first generation of Korean artists to do so. So he settled in New York City but um, actually, before he moved to the U.S., Po Kim was really into uh, this very uh, representational realism and um, also um, a very naturalistic style, which was a trend and a style of uh, Korean artists at the time. This was a very particular time for him. During his time, he had the opportunity to meet and exchange with other local artists, such as Jajoy Kusama and Robert Indiana. So creating in such a different environment deeply influenced him and of course changed his visual style uh, which starts developing a style that crosses, as you can see here in the paintings, figuration and abstraction. In the material provided by the gallery, according to Bogi Kim, president of Art and Culture, Po Kim painted the subconscious, merging and flowing into his long life, 
with spontaneous brush strokes, freely creating images which each stroke of his brush without planning ahead. On large canvases where order is created from chaos, where men, fauna, flora, and all living beings are in harmony, and where darkness and even sadness are reconciled in the soul through peaceful acceptance, this is Arcadia, an earthly paradise. You cannot miss this exhibition too. I totally recommend you to visit this at Hakoje Gallery. We are heading to the next tour. In this opportunity, we are visiting the PKM Gallery that's um, presenting Lemon. The solo exhibition of the artist Jiwon Kim. So this exhibition includes 50 of his works, including the characteristic paintings of the Mendrami series, for which this artist is known. And Mendrami is a, is a common flower on the Korean peninsula, which is found um, even very further uh, north, in the place where the demilitarized zone between North Korea and South Korea is located.
One of the aspects that really caught my attention in this exhibition is in particular the meaning behind the name, the concept of this exhibition. So just as the lemon fruit tingles our senses with its fresh yellow color and the acid taste of the juice, the exhibition aims to awaken our senses in this period of lethargy with um, these emerging and fresh images um, according also to the material provided by the gallery. And that's all for this week's uh, walking tour. It has been really a pleasure to approach um, and take you with me to this area here in Seoul. Jongno has a special energy. This is also largely the result of the history um, it has and this particular balance um, there is in Jongno between past and present. Um, and, and this is something that also you can feel while walking around in the streets. I hope you have enjoyed this content. If you did it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more Art Insights in Korea.